Plus, some growing opposition here in Westchester to the president's health care reforms. Just who's going to get stuck paying the bills? We'll take a look at that when News 12 returns. Well, the financial impact of President Obama's health care reform took center stage today right here in Westchester. State Assemblyman Greg Ball says it's time to separate the facts from fiction. News 12's Grace Noon reported the story. We have six children. They, they will grow up and have to carry the burden of this uh, in the future. It's an expensive proposition. If we do not reform health care. President Obama's health care reform isn't sitting well with this Somers mom. Andrea Monroe, a garrison woman, is already caught in a health care battle for her sick husband. She's worried about what will happen if the health care reform known as H.R. 3200 passes. He's just going to open up into a big New York State insurance fund, throw everybody into this giant pool, and be made to wait for treatments. Republican Assemblyman Greg Ball, who is running for Congress, says more than half the people he talks to are happy with their coverage, and he thinks waiting for treatment is just one of many problems with this reform. You're going to be paying for uh, individuals who are currently uninsured, uh, and this, the sad trend would be is that everybody would sink to the lowest common denominator. Ball says a major concern is that taxpayers will fit the bill for undocumented aliens. We all know the strain that is caused um, on local hospitals, on local health care facilities by a large undocumented population. His supporters agree millions will be spent. The difference between an immigrant and an illegal alien is very clear. It's the difference between a house guest and a burglar. But the Obama administration says the reforms will provide private and public plans and actually save families $2,500 a year. As for Andre Monroe, she feels like she's caught in red tape at every turn. Grace Newt, News 12 Westchester.